what are some things that when you first started doing this work that were recommendations, either recommendations you gave that have now changed or things you did in your own kind of per, you, sort of truths you believed about how healthy eating had to be done that now you realize are maybe not the truth or there's a bigger truth than what you thought was there before. Can you give me a sense of like, what are the things that feel like they've really shifted or changed for you? And while you start chalk, chat it chatting i'm going to start chopping so okay uh, it's very difficult to do both yeah. <laughs> it's very i don't want to lose a finger or something it's very yeah, i know <laughs> we'll take turns. So I'll a little bit while you chat okay. and then we'll switch okay. and, and uh yeah. and see how we do there yeah no injuries yeah. yeah you know i think um it is interesting to think back like when i was in university it was very much still that like you know low fat kind of push right and so that's kind of what I had in my mind is healthy eating as I was going through school um, and even early in my career. Um, and I mean, so much has changed and, you know, just in, in terms of lots of things, but, um, but that definitely has been like, you know, evolved a lot over the course of my career. And we've gone from the low fat to the low carb and, you know, all these different trends that have come up um, and the science behind, you know, whether they're effective for different disease conditions and then also relating it to athletes, right? There's been so many different trends from the carb loading to the keto, you know, fat adapted, you know, fasted workouts. It's just like so many different things going on, right? Um, but I think too, in terms of, and I think it just comes with experience is looking at not only what we're eating, but our relationship with food too, right? And so that is such a big piece of it. And it's not just looking at, okay, you know, are my macros, you know, exactly where they should be and all of that kind of stuff. But it's looking at, am I, you know, is food really causing me a lot of stress and anxiety? Mm. And is that actually making me less healthy than if I were to be less stressed about food? Right. And so looking at the role of and the impact of stress on overall health and performance and, you know, injury and all of that kind of stuff. And then how does diet fit into that context? Right. Um, and so it's looking at more of, you know, yeah, the relationship with food and how we can um, really go from you know, kind of that restriction mindset of, you know, what should I not be having in my diet to one of like a fueling mindset? What can I be putting into my diet mm. to make sure that I am fueling properly if we're talking about athletes, um, but that I'm also not anxious, stressed, guilty, you know, thinking about food 24 seven, you know, all of those sorts of things that are really, really unhealthy for us. 